The total population of California condors was reduced to 22 individuals in the late 1980s. Thanks to the California Condor Recovery Program, those numbers now exceed 300, allowing the species return to its native habitat. Still, survival is not guaranteed, and lead poisoning has had a serious impact on this species' return to the wild. Welcome, I'm Yadira Galindo. While habitat loss and other environmental factors pose a threat to the condor's recovery in the wild, lead poisoning has already afflicted a number of condors in California and Arizona, and more recently, 11 birds at the Baja California, Mexico release site. These 11 birds were brought here to the San Diego Zoo's Wild Animal Park, one of the Condor Recovery Program partners, for treatment. This incident of lead poisoning that we had in, in Baja was probably the, the most drastic we've ever had, where had so many birds affected at one time. Um, we had more than a dozen birds affected. Now, to bring back across the border, we brought 11 of those birds back that needed treatment. Some of them had very, very high values. Uh, in the process of chelation over the weeks, we lost one of the birds, uh, died during treatment. Uh, one of the birds is going to remain here in um, the States for uh, behavioral reasons. It was a bird we'd planned to bring up anyways. It also needed chelation. Uh, so we're, we're looking at bringing uh, nine birds back across the border to, um, to the release site. Spent uh, bullets found in carcasses um, eventually get picked up by the California condors as they feed on either natural prey or being, f in our case, being fed, fed to the birds. So when a condor eats a small fragment or powdered form or, or full bullet of lead, it's the same issue that we would have with lead in paint, lead in gasoline. It's toxic, not only to humans but to all wildlife. In Baja, because we don't have that opportunity, we buy individual uh, stock animals that are injured, broken legs or ill or something, uh, horses, goats, cattle, things like that, and feed that to our, our condors. Um, in this case of lead poisoning, it could have been, which is normally the case here in the States, where the birds find an animal in the wild and feed upon it and had been shot by a hunter. But in this case, it was probably it had to be an animal that um, we'd fed because we found uh, lead poisoning in our birds in captivity as well as birds that are free to roam around the landscape. So in this case it was a, a case of us actually feeding. So we have to find a way that we can provide carcasses that are clean to our animals both in captivity and in the wild. So in order to find out whether or not the animals that we're feeding um, either in captivity or in the wild in Baja are free of lead. In the past, we've been using a method of just metal detectors going over it, but lead doesn't show up very well, and obviously didn't show up well enough because we know that we, we fed uh, contaminated animals. So instead, we've had to uh, acquire a um, x-ray machine that was portable enough for us to be using in the field, and that our field workers can safely use to uh, check each piece of food that goes in into the pen or uh, exposed to the birds to be fed in the wild. Just a few months ago, um, our governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, uh, signed a bill to get lead um, out of the ammunition that's being used in the environment of the condor for uh, hunting in here in California. So that's going to go a long way to um, um, fixing the situation here in the environment in California. In Arizona, they're going with more of a voluntary use of non-lead, um, non-legislative, but a lot of educational uh, material is being presented to, the, to uh, hunters. In, in Baja, the hunting community really is not as defined as it is in the United States, so it's going to be a much more difficult thing. It's more uh, campesinos or ranchers that have guns, um, and invariably use them on occasion. There's not a lot of hunting going on in, in a controlled and regular way, um, but we're discussing with the government ways that we can, we can possibly make non-lead bullets available, which we have here in the United States, uh, to um, ameliorate the situation in the long term there in Baja. So that's more of a down-the-road uh, remedy. 
to help save this species, dispose of unwanted carcasses by burying them in the ground so that condors don't see them from the skies. Let's help the California Condor Recovery Program by doing our part, and this species will be here for years to come.